On 103.8 and 95.5 FM, this is Drive Time, BBC Three Counties Radio. Seven minutes to six. Now, building workers in Luton had a bit of a shock today uh, when they dug up a World War II hand grenade. Uh, the discovery was made this morning in People's Park. Uh, well, joining me now is the site supervisor from Luton Borough Council, Rhys Stewart. He was there. Rhys, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Justin. Uh, Rhys, this must have been a real shock. It was a, a, quite a shock, especially when the, um, the foreman came running at me saying that he'd found a hand grenade, or what he thought was a hand grenade, yes. Well, I'll tell you what, Rhys, I'm going to put this out to my listeners right now because uh, this sort of thing yes it is quite unusual but uh, i've heard before other stories of this nature it's not the first time i've heard about this really yeah i think there was a case in Hemel hempstead about 10 years ago where somebody was doing a bit of gardening as you do and then you dig up a hand grenade <laughs> yes well certainly the um, the bomb disposal unit that came out uh, this is the third one this week in the in the surrounding area of london so really yes so how old do they think it is then that was World War Two. It was a 36-piece hand grenade, um, and it's, they would think it's been there since the Second World War. And, and just how far underground was it? Only about 8 to 12 inches, very, very near the surface. Um, as far as I can tell, the, the mud was holding it together that was surrounding it, so that's the reason it didn't go off. Yeah, that, that's quite incredible, because when you think back to World War Two, that was a long, long time ago, and this has hardly sunk at all, has it? It was just sitting there. No, not at all. Um, they think possibly it may have been taken as a memento and buried when people realised that perhaps it wasn't the best thing to have in the house. So you had the bomb squad there today, who obviously dealt with this. Afterwards, were you able to carry on with your work? Yes, work, work went back literally within a minute of the explosion. The, the boys were back on the site carrying on with the work. And just how big was the explosion? Very big. It, it, it took, it, I suppose it took a, a hole into the ground about a foot deep and two foot across. Um, but very, very loud. They were expecting some of the windows on Havelock Street to break from the explosion, but luckily they didn't. Goodness me. In terms of, of these hand grenades, I don't know whether you've got any information on this, but when you were there today uh, and they were talking about hand grenades, what's the chance of these hand grenades actually being triggered? They, they seem to think very slim. It, it's not a normal thing. Um, certainly the bomb squad did. Luckily, the, the police officer who was dealing with it as well was ex-army and used to lecture on hand grenades, so uh, when he turned up, he knew exactly what to do. But um, they, they didn't... They, all the ones they seemed to be getting at the moment, they were saying were, were unexploded ones, so it was very much just going down there and, and doing a controlled explosion with them. So it happened this morning in People's Park. Everybody's safe. That's the main piece of information. Absolutely. Reese, thanks for your time. Take care, won't you? You're welcome. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. That's the site supervisor from Luton Borough Council, Reese Stewart. He was there this morning. I know for a fact that I've heard about this before. If you know of anybody who's found a hand grenade in the garden, can you phone up, please, between now and 7 o'clock? Because I've heard about this before. There was a case just around the corner from where I live where somebody was doing a bit of gardening one day and suddenly uh, they've come face to face with a hand grenade. I know it sounds a bit stupid, but uh, this sort of story does crop up from time to time. Have you got any experience of that whatsoever? If you have, let me know. Jade is in Luton. Hi, Jade. Hi. 